There are times when we have to type the same thing over and over again, like your emails, work address or a CAN email response. Overall, typing the same thing repeatedly is not just boring but also unproductive. So let's fix that. Hi there, this is Mnaw once again and welcome to another episode of Productivity Tuesday. So it's a playlist that I have started a year ago where I usually take one productivity app or concept and break it down in details. So few people have asked me to restart this series. So here we are, let's see how it goes. So in this video we are going to talk about Tix Expander app. Now I have talked about this in my previous video and in case you don't know what it is, well it is a simple app that does exactly what it says, that is it expands your text. Like instead of typing my complete work address, I can simply type work. And if somebody asks me for my email address, I just have to type the relevant email shortcut. And for all those who have emailed me quite a lot, might have seen an automated delay in response email. Well, you can do all this with text expanders. Now just to be clear, text expanders are one of those things that you might not use it right now. But once you start using it, you cannot imagine your life without it. I like to think of them as a compound interest app. That is, if you take 10 seconds to set them up, then it will save you 10 minutes in the first month or even hundreds of hours in a year. The more you use it, the more time it will save you. Okay, so let's see how a typical text expansion works. First, you need to download a text expansion app on your computer or smartphone. It is available for all operating systems, whether it's Windows, Mac, Android or iOS. And I will also tell you the best apps for each category. Okay, so next you have to set up the abbreviation or a shortcut like email, work or number etc. And then you have to enter the synapse. These are the text or the sentences that will appear when you type the abbreviation. Now, you might have noticed how I have added a semicolon in the end of each abbreviation. Well, it's called delimiter. These are there to tell the text extension app, okay, I want to use this email address as an abbreviation and not as a regular word. Some people might put delimiters in the front, I prefer in the end, but it is always up to you how you like it. Okay, so now that we know the basic, let's see some of the best text expander app in each operating system. Like always, if you're only interested in a specific part, then click on the timestamp appearing on the screen right now. However, I will highly recommend you watch the entire video. You will definitely learn something new and I know you are not that busy. So with that being said, let's get started. Now on Mac OS, there is no single text expander app which is free. Yes, there is a built-in option in the keyboard settings, but it's not reliable. For instance, it will work flawlessly in the Apple ecosystem, like in a Safari browser. But on Chrome, well, it won't work well. Another popular solution is to use an app called Text Expander, which is good and cross-platform. However, I won't recommend it since it follows a subscription model of $5 each month. Instead, I will recommend A-Text, which only costs $5 for lifetime. Though, make sure you buy this application from the developer website and not from the iTunes because the El Capitan update has broken the functionalities in the iTunes version. The rest is pretty straightforward. Simply install this application and enter your abbreviations and its content. Though one thing I would like to point out here is, you can also add macros in your content. Let me give you an example. I often get comments and emails where people ask me something that I have already explained in some other videos. Or let's say it's a blog post. Ok, so here is how I do it. Simply copy the link of the post in your clipboard and then type the shortcut. Now if you notice properly, the reply has automatically flashed the clipboard link. Pretty cool, right? So here is how it works. This is called macros. So when you type the content, you can insert variable as well. So variables are the thing that changes like date, time, images or anything that is in your clipboard memory. You can also use macros inside of macros and also there is an option to import and export backups which is quite useful feature and we will see that in some time but since it's a beginner guide I won't get into much detail here. Unlike Mac, Windows is a pretty good and a free text expansion app called Phase Express. And don't get me wrong, only the Windows version of this application is free for personal use. All the other versions are either paid and honestly they don't work quite well. But Windows version is robust and offers unlimited use for personal use. So download it and install it on your system just like you do with any other software. Now if this is your first time with this application, you can add your abbreviation and then its content or if you have a backup from other text expansion service like the ATEX that we have just used in the previous part then you can import them here as well. 
almost every text expansion service supports a backup and import feature. So you don't have to waste time in copy pasting each stuff. And this is really going to be a lifesaver because once you have hundreds of face saved, it's not easy to copy paste each of them, right? Now when it comes to Android, it also has a built-in text expansion feature. And even the Gboard, the Google keyboard has this option. But I won't call them exactly a text expansion app. And this is why I will suggest the app TextPan. It follows a freemium model. That is, you get 20 phrases for free. And for more, you will have to upgrade to $3, which is fair in my opinion. However, there is no option to import files from other text expander app. So this is what I did. Using the app called Desktop, I copied the text from the A text to my Android directly using the mouse clipboard. Not the prettiest solution I know, but better than copying it from an email, right? Though if you have a better solution, then let me know in the comments below. Now like always, when it comes to iOS, we are not left with much choice. Due to Apple restrictions, the only way to use a text expansion app is by using a third-party keyboard. Yes, there is a built-in text expansion option in the keyboard settings. But just like we saw in the Mac OS, this only works in the Apple stock applications, which pretty much make it useless in my opinion. Luckily for me, my primary device is not an iOS, so I can live without it. But anyways, apparently I'm using a Face Express app. This is the same app that we have used in the Windows. But here it follows a freemium model. So you get 10 phrases for free. And if you want more, there is a one-time fee of $5. As of now, I am okay with the free version as I don't use my iPad too much for work. Well, this is all for now. Like always, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and let me know in the comment section below if you want me to continue this series. I don't care about the views, but please let me know in the comments and smashing this like button. So that's all for now. I will see you in the next video and like always, thank you for watching.